I didn't realize how long it takes for men to come. I've been waiting and waiting. I've got some questions that I need to fire away <laughs> about love, life, dating and relationships. It's like chivalry is dead and the etiquette of dating doesn't exist anymore. I just need someone to show me how it's done to come here and come correct. We're finally here. Come correct, powered by Fireway Pizza. And yes, I'm back like I never left. Did you miss me? Um, my name's Brandon Beavis, known as Bevo. I blew up on TikTok um, for eating food. Never thought it'd happen, but yeah, somehow gained a few followers and here I am, so. What do you mean come correct? Oh, uh, yeah, I've come correct, yeah. Yeah. Are you still not like No! <laughs> I don't know what date, I don't want to know. What do I expect from the date with Cheyenne? Um, I know she's an elegant lady, I know she's got some years on me, so I just want to come to the date and learn, and maybe take Sank away from it and, uh, yeah, use it for my future dates. Um, if all goes well, um, the older women don't really interest me, I'll be real, but, um, yeah, as I say, I just thought I'm here to learn, I'm a, I'm a sponge. Fresh off the block, so yeah, let's let's get on with it. Oh, hello. hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, Thank hi. You. <laughs> nice to meet you. I was gonna get up and kiss you, but okay. <laughs> oh my god, that is so awkward. I actually went to stand up. Brandon, nice to meet you, Bevo. Nice to meet you, Bevo. Do you prefer me calling you Bevo or Brandon? Eva, I don't mind. Okay, so tell me about yourself. Um, I do social media. Yeah. I blew up on TikTok. Um, and I've been around for about a year now. I've got 1.3 million followers. What? Yeah. Yeah, I've I, I blew up for eating food. He got famous for eating food? Yeah, no, it's been well. It's, it's life changing, so. Oh, yeah, nice. No, been... Just like food reviews? Yeah, food reviews, how I eat. Um, yeah, just living and eating the brawls, so yeah, it's good. Oh, nice. I mean, that's not a bad life, just getting that's paid good. to live and eat. <laughs> that's it, no, of course. It's a, yeah, it's a dream lifestyle, so. So what made you start doing content? Um, I just had enough and I went to change, so. I woke up for work one morning um, early um, and I used to do like raps on YouTube like back in the day. So I'd done a bit of comedy singing, which took off. Um, yeah, I've got, got a few followers from that and then decided yeah. to change. I'd done that for like six months, changed my content up. Um, and then yeah, I started doing the food and then the food blew up even more. Um, and then, yeah, here we are now. What needed to change? Like what was your life routine like before? Um, I'd done demolition. Um, it wasn't the greatest of jobs. It was, it was long hours six days a week. Oh God, yeah. Money was okay, not great. I don't want to say the system, but like stuck doing a routine that you don't enjoy. Um, I just thought, look, I've done YouTube in the past. I'd run eSports team in the past. So I've always tried something. Yeah. And I thought with TikTok and how hot it was, I thought, yeah, let's, let's give it a go. So yeah, and- uh, It worked out. Yeah, it worked out very well. Yes. No, I like that. Cause I feel like just, we've all been there. I think when we, before you enter like a creative industry or the field, it's kind of like that nine to five, like it is so, great in and it's no disrespect to anyone that's happy in yes. that like if you're happy in that yeah, then 100%. good for you but I totally understand when you say like you, I just I can relate because I was waking up every day thinking like there's got to be more to life than this it was boring it was just very mundane and it was just and it just I just knew there was more for me and there yes, was better 100%. so big up yourself for just Thank you. Big up. you know actually <laughs> doing that <laughs> what would you say is like probably the hardest thing having to deal with the fame now um I've had a lot of people turn on me. Um, I've had a lot of people say, it's got to your head. Um, so I had a friend try to blackmail me. What? Yeah, um, demanding money, just no stuff way. like that, yeah. Relationships, you don't know if you're getting used now, you don't know if you're just part of a game. Um, yeah, it's hard, as I say, towards the fan side, I love meeting everyone, I'll stop for any, any picture. Um, yeah, that's good. Because if they're going out their way, do you know what I mean, it'd be nice that if I went up to someone I knew and wanted a picture, it'd be nice to get that in return. So I've always stayed humble in that sense. So No, you seem humble. Yeah, you've got to be careful who you're friends with and who you get Absolutely. with and whatnot, so. so like, how do you deal with that situation? So when, when you feel like they are using you or they've got an ulterior motive, like, what do you do? It's hard, it's, I guess it's signs. Um, I've recently come out of a relationship as well that I found out that I was being used. Oh, and, um, Listen, my man is getting finessed by his girl, by his boys. Luckily, not his parents. Or me. I've done so much at the start for her. Really? Um, and she got used to it. 
I helped her, made her quit her job. Um, she got on TikTok, she was earning money on TikTok. Um, and I felt like the money and uh, the followers got to her a bit and it was just like, have I just been your platform to get in? Yeah. Or was I just your foot in the door? Um, so yeah, it is, you've got to be careful who you, who you talk to, who you see. Yeah. And, but do I you think, feel like you were used? Yes, I do a bit. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say used, actually, if we do go back on that. I feel like I was very over generous. Listen, I know I told him to stop spending. Women, we love a generous man. Because um, I always look out for the other people. Like, instead of posting on my page, I'll post on your page. I'll get you them. Oh, cut of you're very, very giving. Yes, 100%. But I weren't, where a relationship is 50 50 or 100 100, it was. You. I was giving a lot more than she was giving back. So yeah. how, how does that make you feel now? You never know. Um, it was it's rocky towards the end anyway, where it all kicked off, and um, I weren't happy. So it was just best to part ways. But it's a shame that how it ended. But yeah. yeah, she's got a platform. Listen, as a man, I've got a woman out the system. Out the system, you know? Is he saying out the system? Um, she ain't got to get up and do a forty-hour week for minimum wage or whatever she was on so in a sense I'm happy that I've helped someone but yeah. it's just a bit of lack of respect I got back so yeah I think, yeah I think I think it's really hard in the sense of like you can do so much for someone and it's kind of like they probably see it like become a bit ungrateful and like obviously I don't know your ex or anything but do you think even with that like and that fear that you probably have moving forward when it comes to dating like how are you fearful now when it actually comes to meeting women in sense um yes but again, if I think where she was part of the TikTok world and she sort of knew at the start like I was going to be doing well, um, as I said, I don't know whether she was in it for the followers or the money or the that or whatever. Um, but I'm guessing you just got to search for that that person that sort of doesn't know you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just I don't know. I think where where it was like my first proper relationship, so I was over generous at the start. Oh, how long was you together? Uh, two, two, two and a half months, two, two and half months, two months. months, yeah. And so, what did you guys do together? Um, well, even before we actually officially got together, I took her to Turkey. Um, what? Yeah, just, just for content. It started off at content, just to get in clips, videos. And then we got together, then we went to Egypt. Wait, so two months and you've had two holidays? Yes. Do I get a fucking holiday? No. Um, wow. Bought her a dog for her birthday, which what? wasn't cheap. Yes, I know. I want a Pomeranian. Um, I also spent untold money on clothes, going out, me being over generous. I'd go out for myself and I'd probably spend more on her than myself. Oh my God. Um, Listen, I'm telling you, it's always the ungrateful bitches that get everything. I'm going to be a bitch now. Yeah, just, it, just in general, just I've always been, oh, like, she likes something, I'll get it, no problem. Because don't get me wrong, the money, the money has come in for me and it's, it's all new for me as well. So I'm still trying to adapt and I've calmed down a bit now and I'm like, look, I need to hush about this and not tell the whole world, you know. So I just got a bit excited. I yeah. had a girl by my side. I've treated her, I wouldn't say too nice, but I've just... Sounds nice. <laughs> well, I gave her, well, yeah, I gave her too much and I was nice about it. So. Yeah, I can't lie. There's, see this nice guy? There's that thin line. Nice guy. Simp. He is here. Would you see yourself as like one of the good guys? Like... Yeah, 100%. Um, so I'm not your typical F boy. Do you know what I mean? I have a lot of respect for the women. Um, it's, it's just nice to have that, that bond, just yeah. have nights to chill. Um, it comes to a stage in our relationship where we weren't even cuddling her or kissing her. And it's just what? Like, what that is two months. What do you mean the stage? That is two I'm, months. I'm, there is no stage like that in two months. Yeah. That should be the honeymoon yeah, stage. He is right here. Oh, that's what everyone was telling me. And I was like, oh, okay, it's just how she is. She was blowing it on stuff, this and that. And I was like, okay. Um, no, I'm sorry. I, like, I'm telling you now, as a woman, if, when a woman's feeling you, she's all over that's you. It, that's actually and it, yeah. like, as much as women say, like, women are too nice to say no. So instead, we will just like keep you there. And and that's the honest truth. It's like, and I'm sorry if that like, you've got to hear it from me. But if a woman, if you're doing all these beautiful things for a woman, like you're taking her out, you're buying her lavish gifts, like you're giving all this time and always putting her first. Like that is the kind of man a woman wants. Yes, 100%. But when you're actually actually doing that, and if she's not returning that energy in in any small way, she's not feeling you, and 100%. she's there to use you. I'm sorry. Fuck bitches, stay getting money. Well, yeah, let's just hit the yeah. nail on the head. Joking, don't call women bitches. Is Trust me, I'm telling bitches, you. Yeah. Like, if a woman wants you, she'll. We, women are proper, like, compassionate givers, so we'll go to the end of the earth just to make sure our man's happy. Yeah, that's good. That's what should be. Yeah. And I am seeing. I feel like I don't know if it's because you are younger than me 
that the women, the younger girls, they are they have a different mentality in the sense of they have grown up on women that obviously I'm a feminist, so mm. they've grown up on this feminist like feminism, independent woman wave, city girls. I can do this and take what you can from men, but I'm telling you, like that is not it. And women like that, you actually need to avoid. So, oh my god, I can't help it. I'm such a preacher. Oh my god, someone shut me up. So yeah, That's so definitely, definitely avoid her. <laughs> I think you should probably block and delete her from I'm your glad, phone. I'm glad it's two months in, not six months in, when she's trying to take the mortgage or something like that. Exactly. You know, so, and you'd yeah. get a mortgage in six months, yeah? Listen, I have to start dating down, you know? I think you have to be careful when it comes to dating because I feel like, because you seem so nice and understanding and one of the good guys, women will take advantage and they will walk all over you. Like, girls like mm. that or girls that come like that, you will be an easy target. She's dropping some really good knowledge. Listen, young boy, I'm going to teach you everything. Especially yes, like so. you being so given. So I'd, I probably think you need to not be as generous. Like, listen. It's hard though. You want to show your, your compassion. You want to show yeah. something like back, like Joan, if she wanted to say. No, mean, but just... you can, but just not too much. Like, don't go wrong. Too listen, early, your yes, money, your life, yeah, you can no, do what you want. Bevo, put yourself first, please. 100%. But it's like, especially where you are in your career, yeah. if you're trying to get to a point where you need to know if a girl loves you and likes you for you or what you bring, the woman needs to not be getting none of that until at least six months in. A few months, maybe do a trip here, but to take someone on holiday and do all these nice things when you don't even know if it's a serious committed relationship, True. that is a red flag. Like avoid that kind of situation. And after six months, like see if she knows your genuine interests because otherwise women will use you. Yeah, and then it's kind of yeah. like, you, you would then fall into that category of like, oh my God, is a simp. She just called me a simp. Because if you overgive and you do stuff, you will literally be labelled a simp. And you don't want to be labelled a simp, do you? No, no, of course not. Yeah. But... Yeah. As I say, I'll, I'll do anything for the woman. Do you know what I mean? You put me like, yeah. And I don't get me wrong, and I completely, for me as a woman, usually I'm sat challenging and saying, <laughs> like, I want a man that's doing this. And, but then when you see it firsthand where so women will just take, take, not just women, like men, if, if you keep giving, People are just going to keep taking yes, from you. Yeah, no, so I it's just that. probably more about boundaries and where you're moving forward. Because this is for you. Like, this is so key for you moving forward as you navigate through life. Because you seem so generous that people will take the piss. Like, you're going to have friends take... Oh, as I mic. said, black, like, like, my friend trying to blackmail me and stuff like that. It's just like, come on now. Like, we're supposed to be pals from school and you've done what you've done. So, yeah, no, it is what it is. But you, you move on. People say you've changed. But it's just called being busy. I'm doing stuff. And Have you ever experienced mental health? Yes, so yeah. going back to like where I started, um, I blew up. I went on G uh, GRM Daily Post, reposted one of my videos. Uh, I've just posted my videos. Um, had a had an amazing. Well, I say blow up. It, it wasn't compared to what I've done with the food. The food blew up even more. But at the start of the year, when I literally, I think my first five videos blew up. Bearing in mind, so oh, I wow. think I started in November of 2022, and I quit my job, getting all giddy uh, at the end of January. So I read it out for a bit. It was paying, it was paying the bills. Um, it was going great, but towards the summer, it died down. Of course. Everything went quiet. No one wants to chat to you no more because you haven't got this clout. You're not popping. You're not getting the views. And I'll be real, I, um, I was renting a room, so I moved back home with my mum and I, my sleeping schedule was messed up. I was just playing PlayStation constantly, not eating right, sleeping in, playing all games all night. And it comes to that stage where I had to change. And lucky enough, my mum saved me. She kicked me out. So she kicked me out. As I say, I was very angry at the time. I didn't speak to her for a month when she'd done it. But now I look back, if she allowed me to carry on being comfortable, say not paying rent, just eating the food and playing PlayStation yeah. all night. It's just, it's not, it is a waste. It's them couple of months were a waste. And yeah, I'm never going to get them back. But I'm glad that she yeah, done what yeah. she done. And yeah. No. Oh, yeah shout out to Bevo's mum, you know. Yeah, no, but I think it's amazing that your, your mindset is like that because it's so easy to fall into a victim mentality where like you then hate the world, you then hate your mum and you carry it on for years. But it's like, you literally just said like, it's been a month and you move on and yeah. you're happy now and no, you're so grateful it. And, it, and it's actually shaped you and yes, made 100%. you. Yes, 100%. And which she's is... my number one fan now as well. So oh, yeah, no good. Way. yeah, she loves it, so. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so you're very, very generous. So when it comes to relationships, would you say that you're more traditional where oh, you want to look after? Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Love a traditional man. I'm very, yeah, traditional in the, in the man's point of view, but I know in the women's point of view, they can do what they want. They can have a career. They're not, not telling them to sit at home and do the washing up or whatever, do you know what I mean? So 
Um, yeah, no, I'm very traditional in terms of giving, looking after, um, but not traditional in a way where like where their thoughts on a woman and stand yeah. at home and whatnot. So when my ex broke up with me, um, as I say, going back to the respect side, a day later she started an OnlyFans. Yeah. And it just goes to show like, did she love me or was she in it for the money or yeah. was she frightened that I wasn't going to be there to provide and yeah. pay for her stuff? And she was like, okay, what's the next step? And she's had her following yeah, and got the good. bag and yeah, done her F. So yeah, it's a bit... What is your thoughts on girls with OnlyFans? It depends how you take it. If you're, if you're looking just to go sleeping with loads of men, I despise it. If you're looking to make money, as say you can make money online nowadays so, so easily, it's if you do your research and you go into something you enjoy, you can make money nowadays online. Um, overall, I don't mind in sense, as long as, say, if I did get with a woman that did it, as long as we can sit down and talk about it, what the boundaries are, um, what you're planning to do, is it just yourself on there, are you introducing other people, yeah. is it women, is it men? He's really thought about this, hasn't he? Um, yeah, as long as we can come to an agreement like that and yeah. He's not trying to get into the doghouse. It's yeah. Just would go you, from there. Would you say, you, would you get jealous at all? I wouldn't say jealous, I just, it's respect. If I'm giving out and you've got the audacity to go sleep with another man, Yeah. Like, why am I with you? But what about OnlyFans if they're just posting pictures of their body online? I don't mind because it comes to the fact that, yeah, you might see my woman posting pictures, but I'm with the woman. I'm taking her out. Yeah. I'm in her bed at the end of the night. You know what I mean? So you can see the pictures, but... That's it, yeah. I'm with her. I don't care. You know? You're paying. You're subscribing. Yeah, that's it. You're just funding the lifestyle. Yeah. So, yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's, that's it. facts. Listen, you speak some good stuff. So you'd have no actual issues if you went with someone that had OnlyFans? No, no, not at all. As long as, long as it went with other men. Um, yeah. And, yeah, we, with other men, it's a definitely no-no. But if it was, as I say, a solo sort of page or it was maybe just getting yeah. pictures with other women, um, I haven't really thought about woman and woman action, I'll be honest. But we'd have to sit down and talk about it and go from there, I think. so. I think that's the most... The best way anyone's ever probably answered this question, because I feel for someone as young as yourself, you've got a really good head on your shoulders. Yeah. Thank really you. <laughs> so going back to your career and everything, so I know you said that you want to get away from food. Like, what is your plan? And because I know I'm sure you don't want to just have this, like, be a one minute wonder, five minutes no, of No, of course. Um, as I say, going back to what I said, where I had my little five minutes at the start um, with all the comedy singing, um, You've got to build that foundation. You've got to get your followers to go over to something else. And I think like with now, I feel like I've always wanted to do YouTube as a kid. Always dreamed it. We um, at school we used to have like battles, like who can get the most like, subscribers, and oh, we'd do gaming content. And so yeah, I'd, I'd love to go down the YouTube route and just be a, a social media influencer. Um, and yeah, go from there. So you can you blow up for something and you just expand out. So yeah, just hopefully that's that's my goal. Hopefully YouTube do the vlogs. Maybe go out and eat lifestyle yeah. yeah stuff like that do you ever so. get frustrated that like people probably where they look at you and they just see the guy that eats food do you think that they come with assumptions and does that frustrate you thinking like you need to know the real me and if so who is the real brandon yeah Bieber? um as i say yeah the food yeah i'm gonna get that of course like, that's what i've blown up for um the two chew potato swallow whatever but to to what swallow what but I feel like you blow up for something, you've got to use that, you push it elsewhere. I don't mind it, I say it ain't a bad thing to blow up for, there's people out there that have blown up for a lot worse, you know. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'd like to get my fans, take on a journey, join, do something else. Yeah. And yeah, just go from there really. I think you seem like you've got a plan, you know what you're doing. Yeah, and I feel so. like more, you're smart, like more creators and people that have their five minutes of fame, need to learn how to capitalise and you seem like you know exactly what you're doing. And it can have a mental health toll as well, like you can have all these people coming out of everywhere, coming out just everywhere trying to collab with you, do this with you, do that with you, but as soon as your numbers drop, yeah. oh, they're gone. See ya. So... How do you find like making relationships with people in the industry, like do you find it easy like becoming friends with people or is it a case of like, I know obviously when you're popping but do you... Like, how do you actually deal with that? And how do you assess, like, who is worthy of, like, a collaboration, essentially? Um, I've, I've had some, say, TikTok pals. Um, I still do, really. But again, it comes back to, oh, you're popping now. Where's my messages? Or why aren't you messaging me? And I'm like, I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to carry on. I'm trying to maintain the momentum. I haven't got time. Yeah, you're friends, this and that. But I've met you through social media. You're not 
my best mate down the road, do yeah. you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna be on your case all the time. And yes, if I'm there and I can help you in any way, I'll always help anyone. Do you know what I mean? I always tell my fans on the street, start TikTok, do social media, because it is life changing. So I'm always there to help people. Say like for my ex, do you know what I mean? She's working a 40 hour a week job earning minimum wage and I've got her to earn in X amount, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Changing her life, you know? So yeah, always, I'm always looking to help other people, but I'm trying to do me as well at the yeah, same time. So, You've got to put you first, it yeah, seems. Yeah, 100%. And I feel like I haven't lately. So now, with what's yeah. happened, just carry on the momentum, Absolutely. get my head down. How do you deal with heartbreak? My heart wasn't broken when we broke up. Um, okay. I knew it was going to end. But okay. it was the fact of having someone there that does what you do. Because I think it would be weird where I'd go off with a girl that has a nine till five. And I'm at home all day doing my content. and where she's at work and where my ex was doing what I was doing. We were spending all the time in the world together. We was doing content, we was doing this, doing that. So I feel like that probably had a toll in it as well. Whereas seeing every, like every day we was together, that could have been the reason why. But towards the end where we was arguing and it was very rocky, I just, I had enough. I was like, yeah, I just don't need this egg. I've got a lot going on. Yeah. I'm trying to build my foundation. For real. I don't want to be a five minute wonder. Yeah, good. I want to be. So what's your thoughts now? Do you think, you're gonna just like stay single or are you gonna like try and date? It's nice to have someone by your side. As I say, I'm all for the, the woman, do you know what I mean? If put them first, 100%. If someone does come along, 100%, I'll give them that chance. Um, but I'm gonna take what I've had in the past and have that as a lesson, do you know what I mean? Perfect. Make sure I don't give out too much at the start um, and just see how it rolls and then yeah, go from there. But yeah, no, 100%, I'm not, I'm not just going to give up with dating. I say you've got to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your, your princess, let's say. Absolutely. So, yeah, um, yeah, just go over there and, yeah. So have you found it difficult, like, making any friends in the industry? Um, as I say, coming from, like, being new on the block, and I've ha I used to watch TikTok and YouTube before, and, like, I've had profound boy moments over certain people. Um, I've loved to collab with certain people, but and then they go, like, do you know what I mean? They're, they're not interested or oh, really? they feel like you're not on your level and it's just it's been a bit of a heartbreak but again you've just got to work twice as hard and just yeah. keep pushing just to prove them wrong you know so, so the idols become your rivals right yeah so a good example of that recently i had i called out a certain person to have a fight um on misfits um because i've spoke to mams and he really likes what i've done and whatnot so i called him out and I got a bit of backlash, and oh, really? especially from him as well. He was like, I've worked too hard to fight you. And it, it, it was a bit heartbreaking because like, I used to watch him before I even done TikTok. Really? And yeah, it was a bit like, oh, okay, like, what have I done wrong? But I feel like I've put the, I've put the work in just yeah. as much as anyone else, you know, so. And who was it? Uh, Danny Aarons. Danny Aarons? Yeah, he said, he said uh, that. I've, I've basically, in other words, that uh, I've worked too hard to fight me. So oh. where I'm new on the block and I feel like I want to be here to stay. But he will. the funny thing is, a couple of days ago, he, he's changed the tunes. You said I didn't work hard enough to fight you. You're back in my DMs. Danny boy, let's get it on. So, oh, is it? See? See? I, may, I might have worked hard, you know. So no, you yeah. have. And no. everything does a full circle anyway. No, that's it. So it's funny how people can switch up, say no, no offense to him, but... Yeah, people get, say, get sometimes get a bit too, bit too big headed or. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a weird one. But yeah, no, listen, I'm not in the game to make enemies. Yeah, I'm and here to put content on and just put And I think on. that's the best like way to view it. It's like, it's not like the whole no new friends and everything. No, but I'm when sorry. you see it as this is just, this is business and it's not personal, you'll get a lot further. Because I feel like when you make it personal and about relationships, you will start pay yes. taking it personal. Absolutely. And I think it gets harder to kind of climb up the ladder when you do it that way. But you seem like you know what you're doing. Hopefully, <laughs> we're now, getting there. What was it like? What was your upbringing like in school with your peers and stuff? Um, yeah, it was okay, don't get me wrong. Like with a teeth situation, say well, I've recently got them done and they weren't great, say when I was younger. Um, I always tried to fit in with like the popular kids as I'd say, our, our year was very small, so you were either popular or you weren't. Okay. Um, so I was always trying to fit in and they just used to rinse me and just mock me, as I say. But as I said, I used to give it back as, as much as I got it. Um, but then I sort of found my ground. I found my, my real pals. Yeah. Um, we had a little group at school and yeah, no, it was okay. So I got through that. And was school was just... ever tough? Like, did you ever like not want to go to school because of it or? I had time. So at the start of secondary school was probably my hardest. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I had very low points where I literally went to, like, I had one friend, I moved schools. Um, 
yeah, it, it was tough, but I got through with it. I just got on with it. Um, yeah, it, it just... I'm happy because now look at you, you're Oh, up. I know, yeah, no, that's it. And yeah, when I see people from school that weren't great with me, it's, yeah, it's like, oh, you're right. you you know what you've done, but yeah, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's... Right, so what advice would you give to, for a young guy now that's probably going into secondary school that probably feels overwhelmed and probably feel like they are getting bullied? What advice would you give to them? Just be unique, be yourself. I'd rather be different in this world than being the same. Um, different, di being different gets you places, you get noticed, you get the attention, you can do social media. So just use, use the bullying into your advantage. Um, if there is something like you've got big teeth or there's something that you can't help or, do you know what I mean, just try and play it off and yeah. just try it and then you never know, like, if it does work and it can get sorted or you'll be looking down on the people that used to bully you and be like, yeah, look, I've done well, like, what are you doing? So, yeah, so, yeah I, d I did used to give it back because so I'm not completely innocent, so I've probably said stuff I shouldn't have done, but, um, yeah, I guess it's a way to get through it and a way to just overcome it. So, yeah, as I say, I did get it. Probably a lot worse than I did give it back, but I try to give something back just to stand my ground. And As you should, yeah, always stand your ground. So Bevo, what makes you a man? I feel like just having responsibilities, having a duty, and having that, that care about life and making sure you're going in that right, right direction and you're looking after the right people. Would you split a bill or would you pay it? No, I'd pay 100% straight away. Is it? No, no, two, no two questions asked. Yeah, even, even if she was going to leave me that night. Yeah, 100%. No way. No, yeah, 100%. Was like, are your parents still together? No, so they're not. Really? They're not, they're not. Did you grow up with them together? No. No way. And you're so like respectful. Yeah, yeah, That's so surprising. So, what would you say is your toxic trait? Uh, I don't like the word, to well, I say toxic, but... That's how I know you're not toxic, Jesus. <laughs> I probably am jealous. Um, but I know if the woman is... If I know where we stand and I know that she's coming home to me, not someone else, it's... Control it's okay. jealousy. So a little, little bit of jealousy. Um, but yeah, no, other than that, I don't, I don't really... I'm, I'm just chill. I'm, I'm just there to live life and yeah. just be with my companion. And, I hear it. Yeah, that's I love it. it. What is your type? I do like a blonde. Yeah? I'm not going to lie. What about me? Um, just personality and just love and affection. As I say, like, say for the previous relationship, there was just no love and affection there. And I was just like, what am I doing? But yeah, yeah just, just someone to love me back, really. And that sounds, that sounds so... Oh, no, oh, I love no. it. But yeah, just... That's some, all we want in life, right? on my level, yeah, that's it. Just that's what we want. To bounce off and yeah, just live life, please. Isn't so. it? Would you say, I, I know the answer already, but... Are you a romantic person? Oh, 100%. Yeah? yeah? What's the most romantic thing you've done? Where I haven't had the chance, I know at the minute it's probably just like buying, I've got flowers delivered to a house while I was away. Aww. I was getting my teeth done and um, I was missing her, so I thought, okay, let's, let's get her some flowers delivered. Same day what? delivery, pay the extra, do you know what I mean? Oh, so, you're so cute. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, once, once that right woman comes, she will definitely definitely be getting spoiled even more than the last. So. No, don't ever change. No, like, I Don't, don't I let like the internet and the world and your no, experiences no, from women like change you because you're like so nice. I love him, I just want to keep him. Is that patronising? I do want to keep him though. Like, I don't want him to change. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Have you got game? Huh? Have you got game like the Riz? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like social media, like getting my teeth done, it's helped me because I was very, I hated my teeth, I didn't like the way I looked. Do you know what I mean? I didn't have the money, I liked the clothes, I weren't dressing nicely. Um, now I'm a bit more confident, but I've got respect for the women. I don't go, oh, you like babe, like, do you know what I mean? I'm like, so I'm very polite, I'm very... You seem polite. Yeah, that's, what would that's... you do? So if you, say if you, you saw me out and you was attracted to me, how would you get my attention? What would you do? I'll be honest, I really wouldn't try. Like, really? That's just... What, he, he wouldn't try? What? I mean, she's not blonde. That's just, I don't know, it's... It's a tough one because I've never, I've never just pulled someone off the street or yeah. I've never... Would you say, like, because you said you got your teeth done, was you ever insecure? Yeah, 100%. My teeth were dreadful, I hated them. Um, that's, that was my massive hold back and where social media has allowed me now to promote a, a teeth company. 
Yeah. Um, big up UK Smiles. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, where they've allowed me to promote it and get it done for nothing as well. It was very, it was life changing. And oh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll do it again if I could, but if, if my smile weren't great. So yeah, no. Really? Yeah, oh, you have a nice smile. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, what are you saying now? You know the rules. What about your insecurities as a man? How do you deal with that? What, in terms of dating or? In life, like navigating through life. It helped with social media. Um, it gave me that character. Bebo, big teeth, like just how, how I look, this and that. So it has helped me. I'm not going to lie, that, that was a main part of my character. So in terms of like how to deal with insecurities, though, I just didn't care. But yeah. I wouldn't try. I wouldn't try with the women. I was very, don't get me wrong, I had like previous, like, I want to say relationships, like talking stages, but I'd always doubt myself and I'd hate to smile in pictures and I'd hate my pictures and this and that. So yeah, like now, I'm a bit more confident, but I'm still, I'm still holding back because I'm still not used to... Yeah, being, being when you are, like, the being new, up. The new brand, and yeah, the, that's it, 100%. Yeah. And I guess the following and being known has helped, but again, it goes back to, are they, are they in it for you or are they in it for the numbers yeah. on the screen? So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough one. Honestly, like, please don't ever change. No, I won't. Because, like, the fine. industry is just so horrible, and I feel like you're, you're such a good guy, like, you're one of the good ones, and I feel like, even just with this, so... Do you think, because you may have got overlooked before, if like, I don't know if you were, I'm just assuming. So if you were overlooked and everything before, before you had your teeth done, yeah, yeah. before you were Bevo, do you think at any point you're ever going to get a complex where you're kind of like, well, you didn't rate me back then, but now I've got money and I'm up and I'm smiling good. Like, do you, do you now feel like there's like that revenge kind of, what, yeah, I don't know what the, they call it. I don't, yeah, no, I know what you're trying to say. So my school wasn't great, I used to get pre bullied a lot for my teeth, but I used to give it back as I got it, so I'm not I'm not looking for people to feel sorry and whatnot. But just when I was about to give you a little like pity party, you were giving it as well. When I am out and I'm doing well and I see like people up from school like used to like rinse me or mock me and they're trying to be friendly and I I'm yeah. friendly back, I'm lovely, yeah, yeah, nice to meet you, this and that, but in my head I'm like, Yes, I've proved you wrong. Yeah, facts. Yeah, so yeah, no, I'm so I'm chill with everyone, but I remember who was good to me, and yeah. I'll always remember who people was. This woman fixed someone victim. Good for me, and will help them as well. So that's good. Yeah. I feel like you're really positive for someone that's like I don't want to be like, oh, you were bullied, but for someone you said you gave it back. Oh yeah, I gave it well. back. As, so I had, I had two other friends in school. We just had a little a little group, and yeah. we got but shit. How, we give it back. So. Like, what's a red flag for you? Red flag. Red flag. Um, I don't know, I'm not, as I say, I hate, I hate when people say icks, I hate people when yeah. they say red flags. I say, I'm so old fashioned, I, I, I hate social media and I do it for a living, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, red flags, just, I used to say like having boy mates, I'll be honest, um, but I, I think I've grown up, I've grown up a bit with that and I can understand that yeah. we all have companions, I mean, we're all, we're all just trying to live life, we're trying to learn. He doesn't mind guy mates. Tick. I don't know, as I say, I'm very old fashioned and like with X, red flags, and I'm very colourblind to red flags. I'll be like, I don't, as long as you're loyal and I know you're sweet, like, yeah. I, don't, I don't see red flags. Like, that's very invisible to me, to be honest. So I'm colourblind to a red flag. No red flags? You're telling me he's not seen any red flags? What an angel. Or an idiot. Yeah? <laughs> Those green flags, yeah? Love or money? Love, 100%. Yeah, 100%. I'd rather be in a cardboard box with someone I love than be in a mansion with a girl that hates me, you know, so... Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. What makes you a man? I feel like just having responsibility, um, looking out for the right people and just planning for the future. I feel like when, once you get to that stage where you're not mucking around and you're not holding mummy daddy's hand, like once you're, you're doing it by yourself, you're paying your bills, that's, that's what makes you a man. No. I agree. What do you think turns someone into a man? Um, probably everything that you said, you know. Yeah? I can't okay. lie. I'd say probably a man holding up his responsibilities. 100%. Probably being a man of honour and actually honouring his word. Because I find like a lot of men have the chat, but their actions don't back it 100%. up. Having integrity and probably a guy that's a family, family man. Yeah. 100%. What, like. what is a deal breaker for you? Deal breaker in what sense? In like a relationship. What, to end the relationship? Yeah, yeah, what's like, I will not go there if this. I feel like once, I understand in relationships you have arguments, if there was a little split period, but if you used to ever cheat 
or if we had a split period and you got with someone else and you want to come back, that's game over. Once you sleep with another man or you get with another man, it's game over. That's it. So. Have you ever cheated? Oh, the side there. Yeah, all that energy. <laughs> Took your time to answer that. Definitely cheated. No, it's very controversial though because where, as I say, this, this ex that I've been talking about previously, it's where it was early on and I was getting a lot of stick. I was very new to see like, with like arguments. And so I was on the way to Nottingham um, with someone and I got a lot of shit for going up there. And me being me, what she's saying, oh, I'm gonna give all your shit back. Like, well, she didn't say we're done, but like it was coming across as, oh, we're over. Oh. So I went out, I just, I had a good weekend as, as any boy would do. Oh. Um, I, I kissed, I kissed a girl. Say so it with chest. Nothing come of it was that, it was just partying, it meant nothing. Um, which I still, I wouldn't do it now if I was with a girl and I'd never do that now, but I think where I'm new in this dating scene and where I've actually come out the show a bit, it's, um, yeah, I've learned from that. As I say, I know she wasn't happy, but we, we got past that and then we did move on. But in terms of sleeping with someone, when being with someone, I've ne I'd never would do that. And yeah. yeah, that's definitely a no-no for myself. We don't like men that cheat. No, I know. Yeah. Do you go on many dates? Not really, no, I'll no. be honest, no. Um, yeah, I don't know, not not really. Not. I, I'll be honest, I've probably been on probably about four dates in Is that life. it? Yeah, oh, probably, wow. Yeah, not, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, what, so you work too hard? Uh, no, I haven't previously. I have slacked a lot. Oh, is it? Um, but where it's my appearance and I just didn't care and the wrong women would come in and this and that. I just didn't, I didn't put myself out there, you know, I didn't try, I didn't try and get a girlfriend or I didn't try and be in that position. But I feel like back then I wasn't in the position to have a girlfriend because I wasn't earning the right money. I wasn't, I was still a child, if that makes yeah. sense. I, want, I didn't have the mindset of a man. And if you haven't got the mindset of a man, you're in no position to take a woman out. So yeah, that's, that's what I stand by. Yeah. So have you got game? I'll be honest, not really. Um, I, I find that a bit petty and childish, like you're trying to, answer a bit of riz here and there, like being a bit cheeky, but if you're just being silly about it and you're just trying to show off and like, oh, yell B, what's your Snapchat on this and that, or back in the day, we'll all know, like, what's your BBM pin, do you know what I mean? Like, um, I think it comes across as, you're just immature. Yeah. As I say, like, I ain't gonna go and say you're gonna hold this wood to anyone any any time soon. Do you know what I mean? It's oh, just dear. very yeah. So um, yeah, I'm I'm very against that. I'm very sit back. I'd rather sit down and have a genuine chat, like we are now. Yeah. I'm still learning, so I'm here to learn. So yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, I'm not trying to call a woman over and do a madness. So. Yeah. So what do you do to impress women? Am I not impressing you now, or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You are. Um, I think she's on to me. But it's a shame she's not my type. My personality is one in a million, and I'm not like the general guy out there. I have a lot of heart and I have a lot of, I overthink anyway, so I'm always thinking about the other person more than myself. So yeah. I think that, that should impress any woman, to be honest. Absolutely. What do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Well, my job is fun. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of football, mm -hmm. but even that with my job now, like where I'm busy, I'm, I'm doing nightclub appearances, I'm doing my videos and that. Um, yeah, just. I think just being famous at the minute is fun, to be honest. So yeah. I'm just trying to live it up and... Man's outside, yeah? yeah. <laughs> so Cheyenne, what do you do to impress men? Um, exist. No, I can't lie, guys. I actually am such a pick-me. I don't just exist. I do the most. Um, to impress a guy, it's really hard because I actually don't do much, but I know like the inner pick-me, I like to cook for them, like massages. I'll even give a foot massage, so I can't lie. That's great. <laughs> so yeah, I would just do the most. Okay, that's no, good. To get someone's attention. What's your, um, what's like the opinion on nice guys finishing last? Some nice guys finish last, but okay. I think nice guys that don't get it. I think nice guys that aren't confident, that lack confidence, absolutely finish last. Okay. But nice guys win. Nice people will come on top. Clean hearts always win but you've got to have the balance where you're not a pushover because women will walk all over you. So yeah. What do you think? Well, I've just finished last just now, do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a sticky one, but where I'm very down to earth and I'm very, I'm thinking about the other person, the other party. Um, I think it's weird how girls 
fantasize over the bad men, like not the bad men, but like the um, the guys that don't treat them right and wanna, moan about them yeah, and then get screwed about, over yeah, by them. Like, Do you feel overlooked? Hundred percent. By the bad guys. Hundred percent. Because I feel like even like my ex, like she ain't gonna find no one better. I'll tell you that right now. Facts. Yeah, hundred um, percent. That's not me trying to blow. No, smoke come up. on, no, blow the smoke. Because I'm telling you, you know, when I say about that self confidence thing, to not be the nice guy, you got to come with that. You got to walk and like walk into that room, like you are it. There is nobody better than me, and you don't have to speak it. Like you don't have to be like, oh my god, everyone look at me. No, I'm like it's just a case of, I am that guy, and that's it. And like you said, she's not gonna get better. No, no, Her she loss. isn't. So yeah, we move on and we find someone that. Deserves my niceness. Leave in your sauce. So what's your future plans? I don't know, I'm a, I'm a very man of tomorrow, if that makes sense. Like, spontaneous, yeah? Yeah, I'm very spontaneous. So if someone says about booking a holiday for tomorrow, I'll book it right now, that's just how I am. Um, I just wanna still be in the social media game, whether I've got five pound in the bank or five million in the bank, I guess money don't determine me. So yeah. as long as I'm happy, I'm stable, and I'm doing a job that I like, that social media, I couldn't care how five years look, you know? So as long as my family is stable, I'm stable. If I've got a partner at the time is stable, yeah, I bring on the five years. So at the start of the day, we had to write down some assumptions yes. before we met each other. So I'm gonna reveal mine, but okay. before I tell you mine, like, I've had a really nice time with you and you're a really nice guy. Thank you. And I just feel like you've got such a beautiful energy and you're very, very humble. So what I said was that you are nerdy, a bit of a simp, a cocky Gen Z, um, and socially awkward. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, go, wait, so what, what's the first one? Nerdy. Nerdy. I had my nerdy days. I used to play FIFA, Call of Duty and that, but... I love a nerd. It doesn't no, mean it's a bad no, thing. No, no, no. <laughs> Socially awkward, Gen Z simp. Is she joking? I say nerd, but I just say I was a bit of a gamer, but no, nerdy, no, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm nerdy. No. Simp? Simp, uh, if you want to treat my kindness as a simpy way, fair enough, so be it, I'm a simp, but... Um, yeah, that's just how I am. I'm not going to change, so... Yeah. Uh, cocky, Gen Z. I'm cocky to the people that deserve to be shown cockiness too, if that makes sense. Like, if you're gonna mock me, I'm just gonna come back at you saying how well I'm doing. But if you yeah, praise what I do, I will try and help you in any way I can, so. Um, and socially awkward. Maybe with the women back in the day, but I think now where I've got the followers and I've, say I'm more happy in myself, I'll talk to anyone, so yeah, not 100. Uh, I think you're was, far from, yeah. But now, yeah, not 100% not. Wait, what did you call me? Let's have a look then, shall we? Yeah, the reveal. I said very flamboyant. Flamboyant? Do you know what that means? Not like colourful, no. What do you mean flamboyant? Me? Flamboyant? No. Okay, I'll give you that one. I say you're very elegant. Oh, thank you. Um, I say you're very high maintenance, though. Do you think? I don't even paint my nails, though. I'm low maintenance. Have you got a man that's gonna fulfil them, or? No. I don't, I don't paint, I'm lazy. I said for yourself. For me? Do you think I'm for myself? I feel like you're a very successful woman, Thank so you. I guess you have the right to be a bit full of yourself, like where I go back to that cockiness and you can show off what you've <laughs> done. There's no, nothing wrong with showing what you've done and what you've achieved, so. Thank you. Yeah. Well, cheers to, cheers to a that. wonderful day. Thank you very much. Um, what did I think of Cheyenne? You yeah, know, she looked very elegant, very nice lady, and so I just wanted to learn a thing or two off her. How do I think the date went? Um, I think it, I think it went well. I, I, I learned a lot, um, knowledge-wise, and even if nothing comes of this, I can bring it and take it to another date. I think she would have rated the date well. She's, she's seen the Gen Z and seen how we think. Um, I think I'm one of the good ones, so. Um, what do I rate Cheyenne out of 10? Um, I think we were quite leveled, so I'd give her a seven out of 10. I actually had a good time, it was fun, although I feel like I was just lecturing, I felt like a little brother, actually, but, if I'm actually going to score him, he did come correct. He's super friendly, super nice guy, and if he was a meal that I was eating, I would give him a seven. <laughs>